Hello and welcome to Chromatic Conversations. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to be talking about episode two, classes in session. Ooh, that's fun to say. How did we find today's session? Amazing. Really fun. Really fun. Yeah. Can we have a favorite teacher? Yeah. Obviously. Which one? Fucking Brad. 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 Brad, amazing. Um, literally was uh, like just been like a meditation inside my brain. Like you can keep you can keep us together. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. It was so hard to keep. I didn't keep a straight face at all, but oh, mm. uh, really good. <laughs> what person or character was? Personally, yeah, personally, like, yeah. yeah, the yeah, owl oh, really, really, really funny oh, voice. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, character was. I, um, I lost it. So, uh, yeah, you lost it the most there. With the yeah. owl. Yeah. You started, I think you started, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like. But it's like, it, I just do not expect what comes out sometimes, and then it's like, oh, that sounded like, that actually sounded legit. And I'm like, oh. Conjuration. Conjuration. <laughs> What's everyone's best owl impression? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? 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 So what do we think of the magic class? Because no one's interested in being a bard, but still, like it was fun to put it out there as a magic class. Music. Uh, music. Music. Is that both? Is that both? It was very, it was very cute. I, I actually, I, it's very funny to think of it. Like I don't know how music class was when you went to high school, but for at least in like not in like senior music, but maybe like grade eight, nine, ten, music was kind of like. This is the bludge class. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Like I'm doing music because we sit around and we play with instruments. So I yeah. imagine that there have to be like a medium amount of people who are like, I'm taking the music class because it's easy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And especially like, like the teacher just being like, just do what you want and yeah. like yeah. play what the music speaks to you. I mean, my music teacher was half deaf. Oh, that's all. Yeah. That helped him a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And then, how do we feel about the necromancy class? Because that was kind of brutal. I loved it. Loved it. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. Lucian's like, finally a serious teacher. Mm. I was really like, I was really, I really wanted the elephant to, to be like, actually, I'm a strong, independent elephant, and I can do what I want, and and maybe she would roll really good. Come on, come on, like a little girl. So it's funny. She wanted to be a cleric. <laughs> she going to be a cleric and she could yeah. learn revivify other ways. Other ways. <laughs> it's just like, mate, this isn't the one for you. You were made of sunshine and rainbows. Nice roll, guys. It's nice more roll. of like yeah. life though. But obviously if you were like yes. a brave cleric, can you? Yeah. then that would, yeah. this would be like how you learn it. Death cleric. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Addy. A little disgusting toy there. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how <laughs> dare you call my toy disgusting? <laughs> but it's like mini me. I'm a sheep and it's a sheep. Yeah, Hi. true. I'm not sure if it's much of a sheep anymore. But... <laughs> oh. yeah. Base is there. <laughs> and we got to meet more NPCs. Yeah. yeah. It was fun to see you guys like track Serena's progress and like how she really invested <clears throat> in yeah, her progress. progress. Yeah. Just because it's like. You've got a real, you know what the vibe is? It's it's kind of almost like Elsa from Frozen, like 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 can't control her like inherent magic. It's fun. I'm like yes, girl, make a giant ice ice castle, do it. So you think that shit? Someone who's like very sheltered, like her oh, first yeah. time on land, doesn't yes. understand <laughs> human interactions. Yeah, well, she's going through a lot. And then yeah, we had a few changelings as well. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, I, I, I just the identity crisis of just like, like no, knowing no. who you are is hard enough, let alone like your skin constantly changing. Yeah, it's fun. I like it. Yeah, it, it it's a cool one for her to explore. Yeah, okay. And then Mortana's a a fun like, like Mortana the wine teacher. Oh no, Paxton no, the wine teacher. the wine teacher. Paxton was the changeling, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and sure. Mortana was uh, the oh, fencing girl. She's yeah. a she's a long, she was cool. long yeah. blonde hair. Oh, she fencing <coughs> person. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, 
Like, someone who's like, I'm a part of the silver class, but doesn't give a fuck. I think it was like a, a like an interesting dynamic of like, I think that's you're meant to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You? Oh, that's always a surprise. I was like, huh? What? Oh, yeah, okay. So, very strange. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. I she, feel like she's like borderline iron. The fact yeah. that she's like <laughs> doing it in the way. Yeah, but I think of like, there's no, like, doesn't they don't have any drive yeah. like there's no push it's like i eh, just whatever happens whatever, yeah. like it will it'll, once you get to know them a little bit better it's more about like loyalty and it's like all right i'm a shield dragon for those that i connect with and i will protect them if my life depends on it and that's like why mm. she's in that house um, and they were like just a human yeah yeah straight up human. Human. and i uh, they didn't really get a chance to go into it but they're definitely like Man, I'm going to probably become a warlock just so I can sell my soul to, like, not be human because that's more interesting to me. Like, it's just, like, someone that's, like, been that. dealt an okay life and then just been, like, just nah. Just got that every of our races. Yeah, yeah. Have you got what skin? Have you got skin? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so cool. Yeah. And I'm just dumb old me. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. They've been pretty skilled, though, so. And then night class. Did you, like, know that was going to be much of a thing? No. Addie, give me a baby. I'm very interested in attending. Just, oh, just yeah. one, just one. Oh, I'll write it down to prep for night class. Yes, I want to break into night class. Yeah, I want to see the ghosts. I want to see what if they learn stuff different. Um, well, you did hear that Selena was learning how to be... How to be a vampire. A vampire, vampire. Yeah. yes. Which you can imagine, like, like changelings in terms of like alright you've got to go to changeling you've got to go to guidance counseling because you to figure yeah. out who you are <laughs> vampires you've got to learn how to not eat have bloodlust and yes. yeah so there's definitely like racial classes yeah. of like a little bit extra hmm. but you guys probably don't need it but this if you like they have, they're like vampires need to learn an element yeah. of control I feel like, like that's if Serena can't get control over how to not charm people then it'll probably be something that the school will like pull her aside and be like hey we just know that you want extra help on this sort of like if you can't do math properly you end up with a special tutor tutor. yeah like it's it's essentially magic tutoring yeah which is available technically for any of you guys like i imagine stuff like night school stuff as well feel like warlock uh, like class-wise, because I feel like they can... is, yeah, more for those who can't be there during the day. Yeah, so it's not, yeah, not anything, anything darker. No, no, it's, like, she can't be She physically the can't go outside exactly, yeah. like... Well, yeah. then come around the cage, so. the more, like, <laughs> there'll be more drought, more choosing night class, because they're also sun sensitive, but it's also, like, you're in caves, so it's not too bad. Yeah. But in terms of like the time of like when you're used to getting up, yeah. it's sort of more of what it's based on. Yeah. There's not too many in like her. Yeah, so it won't be really. Is a class wise, there's not really much difference between the two. Not really, yeah. But the wizard, the um, like the ghosts are like previous subject teachers of their class and then alive versions have come to do the day and then the ghosts are continuing their class. Yeah. So you get old old people knowledge. <laughs> That's good. Back from mm-hmm. your father's day. I'm very tempted to be like, like yeah, no, I learned from my dad Strahd. I was like, yeah. like oh, we like connect to the Strahd. I'm like, nah, she's, she's her own thing. <laughs> oh, that's very funny though. So, other classes we've got so you've got divination, enchantment, evocations, potions, illusions, and then the day after you'll be looking at dunamancy, magical creatures, herbology, flying, and fighting. Ooh, Ooh. cool. Yeah. yeah. So, illusions don't really care about the non magical cards. <laughs> yeah. It's like magical creatures, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, well, you have class. to go to all the classes. Yeah, even like potions is like five potions. Like, mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but what I didn't imagine. So Zami's fear about being keen for potions. Is Zami's so keen for potions. Any other classes that people are excited for? Fighting. Fighting? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, like, evocation. That's mm. definitely like <clears throat> <clears throat> Lucian, Lucian's bread and butter's evocation. 
like abjuration today. Right. Like, attack and protect. But also, yeah. Enchantment as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of enchantments as well. Mm. So. Um, I, um, <laughs> uh, the two, that, the other that I was, it's not. Conjuration, mm. and then she rolled so bad. Yeah. Um, but I think that that is probably thematically correct for Zabi. Zabi is not magical inherently. Zabi makes potions that mimic magical effects. But you can keep like trying, or you could ask for tutoring, and it could be something of like, no, I will learn conjuration until I fucking get it. Mm. I, I don't think. Zabi, um, summoned a snake, um, and in that is like, sick, I summoned a snake. Mm. <laughs> I was expecting Zabi to do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am yeah. Zabi's parents. <laughs> <laughs> do better. <laughs> do good at potions. You have to do good at potions, my man. It's like, I've built a whole thing for you. But I do, there is a very fun character up for Zabi if she isn't good at potions straight away. True. Like, I mean, to be fair, it's not like she's making traditional potions. I think that's more of like, so if I don't, I, I pro when I give you bonuses, it probably won't be like a plus three, it'll probably just be like a normal plus one. But it's more of like, if she's not technically doing exactly what she's She asking. just throws stuff in a, in a thing. Yeah, she's doing it her way and she's succeeding at mm. doing it, but it's like, <clears throat> for definitely the potions professor who you've already met and is quite like, to the books kind of teacher. But We haven't really met potions professor. Not officially, no. not. But it will be fun, um, I think, like, a student like Zabi to work with the potions professor, like, ah, I'm gonna change my ways a little bit mm -hmm. because you are interested, mm -hmm. just the way I'm teaching is working for you. Yes. And that's on them, mm -hmm. not on you. So, yeah, that'd be cool. And is there anyone interested in flying class? We haven't really talked about that. Yeah. We've got the flying spell, yeah. <clears throat> but, like, that's like. What kind of flying are we talking about, like? I don't want to keep vague. Yes, okay. we don't. Yeah, if it's like flying on. Instruments, she says, like, oh. but if it's like the flying spell, then like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> that's like, that's like, like a couple of years in. Zabi doesn't uh, know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, Zabi doesn't know how to fly, so Zabi would be very excited, yeah. regardless. Yeah. It's, a, it's a real enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it depends what kind of fly. Yeah. yeah. It's spell, yeah, anything that spells is like, illusions, like, yeah. so hyper focused. Mm. Is there anything that you want to like see and explore in the school that we haven't really delved into yet? The secret guidance council. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you, it was like vaguely mentioned, like the yes. principal mentioned it of like, you don't like this council, we've got someone else, and then just sort of like didn't, yeah, follow up on that. So <laughs> very excited for whatever that means. Um, yeah. And um, the clubs. clubs the clubs, be, yeah. Clubs would be interesting. So if I, if I find a list of the clubs and yes. find something about that. So we've got fencing so far and cooking. Fencing and cooking. And music. And music. All the bands, yeah. But, you know. It's sort of like, they're easy ones to be expected. Yeah, but dueling clubs would be cool for you should, mm. Especially if you're Like spell, spell dueling or spell dueling, yeah. 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 Trying to come up less than that way. Like that. Nice, yeah. Tinkering class. Tinkering club. Tinkering, yeah. Club. If there's no one, Zabi will start it. No, tinkering is a, uh, I think, a second level subject. True. Would okay. Be, cool. Yeah. Ooh. Like, would tinkering also go with like an armor making? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely like tinkering <clears throat> back and fist and like sort of like physical in terms of objects. Enhancement compared to like magic it, or how to magic infusions essentially. Yeah. yeah. So like artificer is a magical class technically, mm -hmm. so it's more of like that. But it's more of like you gotta learn the basics of magics and mm -hmm. enchantment before you can <coughs> meld with stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking. Um, one thing that I didn't. Uh, I was thinking about it when I was we were talking about how uh, as I did the shield spell. Um, when we did the fight last episode, 
Zabi used a mage hand to do something. And I didn't really describe it, I was just like, Zabi used a mage hand to collect the coins. Mm -hmm. um, and when we got to Conjuration, Zabi knows Poison Spray and, and Mage Hand, I was thinking about what Mage Hand actually looks like. And what I think it looks like is Zabi has like, so she's got the potions pouch. And in the other pouch, there's just like a, it's just like a bag of loose metal objects. Oh. So when she casts Mage Hand, it's not like a, you know, like an ethereal floaty hand. Mm. It's like, like almost like an, like these animated little objects that make like, almost like a skeleton-y looking oh. like metal. Actually very much like the... Anakin's hand? I was going to say the other mother again from Coraline. The way that when yeah. you're in her mother form, her hand is really like... Ooh, it's like that, but made of like like random pins and bits of that, metal. And, yeah. You know. So just because I feel like all of zombies, even if it is like just a spell, need to have like a physical element. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, scary metal hand. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> and then like maybe when she's like better at magic, we'll have something better for that hand to be made out of. Yeah. Because yeah, right now it's like. <laughs> Oh, I'm just so excited to see where your characters are going. I know yet we haven't really gotten into story. No. Like, you still haven't yet gotten your essence of why you're here, and I'll hopefully start putting that in in the next few sessions. But let's figure out your your, your spells and where you stand with magic before yeah. you try and actively figure out the, the mystery or whatever. Cause the, yeah. Really We're being have. introduced to the school. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to introduce, but hopefully mm. next session we should be able to uh, tick off the rest of the subjects and then... All of them? You mean next fight? Next session? How many classes did we do today? Five. 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 Oh, jeez. We did wrap it at the start of then. So. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So you could probably do like five sessions. Depends. You know, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll let it unload, yeah. but I, after we finish this... Uh, after we finish classes, <coughs> probably in session after we'll come back with level one characters. So it might be two more. We'll see what happens. But yeah. I imagine there will be some role. There's always role play elements there. Yeah. Yes. Coming to both. So we'll let them play out. Yeah, that's good. Cool. cool. Fun, fun to see the characters. Let you know. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. How's the evolution going <laughs> with, uh, you know, some subjects not being like exactly what he imagined or... Yeah, like some of that like music is just like so... Like it's, in, it's just annoyed. Yeah. Like, how <laughs> is this in this school? <laughs> <laughs> like, it, I'm guessing oh, like, oh. I'm, I'm guessing his parents would have like, would have like left these subjects out because it's not important. Yeah. So they would have been like, oh, this is the divination teacher and this is the necromancy teacher. Mm. And like, you know, these are ways to be good in this class yeah and then they just want to talk about the music teacher or the music subject whatsoever <laughs> so he's like walking in not like not expecting those classes and then he's just like why am i here it's like mm -hmm. this is nothing to do with why i came to the school yeah like, how's this how's this further my the third day life? with magical creatures follow you flying and fighting Magical creatures. Yeah, like the fighting, he will probably. Yeah, but it's like weapon fighting. Yeah, he'll probably like, oh, weapon fighting. He's like, okay, cool. Do you have a sword? Five bolts. You pay off the class instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't reply instantly, but it'll be like, see, good practice for me, though. But Dunamancy, on the other hand. Dunamancy will be very interesting. But weapon me. fighting can also be, I mean, obviously not have access to it yet, but it can be like practicing with your spiritual weapon or using your staff or something like that. Like, yeah, it will also be like, Dodging attacks. Yeah. Yeah, because you're, like, you're always going to have, even though you're. Or you can practice with like castle, yeah. shield and mage armor and like defending sort of stuff. Yeah, so he'll probably find a way to like use aspiration and like mind an illusion to create objects in front of the person thinking, oh, they're about to attack, and then a wall pops up and I'm like, oh shit, it's a wall. Yeah. yeah. So, and then using like, yeah, so he'll go around weapons and then look at ways to improve himself because mm. he knows combat like he's seen his dad in fights and stuff like that so he knows there's always an element of combat in doing stuff so and then with familiars are we just assuming that they're coming to classrooms or like yeah. i assume my, the bird my cloud is like the, um, always with me yeah yeah the bird on the snake i assume but my bird i assume is this probably like there is like, like an avery yeah like h like it's just yeah. in a little tower. And then your cat's probably like a little bit bigger, so probably like 
Seriously? I mean, whatever you think would be makes sense. It would, look, I just love the idea of this being this couch in the common room next to a window with beautiful sun, and it's just covered in your cat hair. It's really like it's scratched up, and it was like it's like it's been one day. <laughs> This is what I'm ending for. Yeah, that's outside stuff. Oh, boy, Yeah, like like but magical the... creatures. I think is a fun class that hopefully will be a little bit more like. Yeah, here's a magical creature. Learn how to work with it, but also here's your familiar. Yeah. Learn how to work with your familiar. In... I'll be like, because I've had so many years of people like, oh yeah, sweet, do some tricks while while I do some research. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd be like, oh, look how controlling you is. It's familiar. Yeah, you got like a couple of days ago. <laughs> Did you make a good first impression with Brad, who's the abjuration professor? I cast shield perfectly, so. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. My... yeah, I got a tall one. Yeah, no, 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 no. But like in terms of your first comments, with like constantly each ask, like questioning each. Well, time. it's just like I'm going to shoot Elgin Bats at you, and then like, but you're going to block it with um, absorb elements, and then Lucius is like. That does not work. <laughs> that's more air in the DM. Yeah, no, that's fine, but it's like... That's <laughs> like in three days. That's fine, but like Lucius is sitting there like, I was like, did this teacher just say that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, he was like... So like, if you're not playing my NPCs, it's chewing me. No, it's like, fine. If he, if he comes across this, let someone who's very knowledgeable mm. and has emotions, He, like, but that's the thing, Brad's like such a chill guy. He, like, he's not... He obviously knows his stuff, but yes. not in like a, oh, I'm going to talk really smart at you. I'm going to... No, it's just a man of the land and the people. <laughs> he slipped into Kiwi a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's just wild doing an extra Australian, Australian accent. Yeah. yeah, when you get into a really thick Australian accent, they can sound very similar. Yeah. yeah, I think Brad, Pandora, and what was the invocation wizard's name? Uh, the fire genasi. Oh, the fire genasi. The one we haven't met yet, but. Um, Those three teachers will probably be his go to mostly. Uh, Fire Unice is Flaris. Flaris, I don't know. Yeah. So those three he will probably try to form good relationships mm. with. Started really strong with Brad. Well, really strong. <laughs> I did I like I just kind of thought back to like the test streams of um <laughs> the conjuration wizard. Oh. And I was like it's like is this what that is is that we playing this again? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, no, I forgot the that that Conjuration Wizard. No, I mean, he's well, very pre- different to the Owl dude who you guys actually ended up, but I think the, con- the Conjuration would be more, um, like his vibes would be more like the Illusion Wizard killing pro. Yeah, so that's the thing, I'm like, oh, okay, it's an illusion. But then the her brand is, like, Thomas Hawk was saying, that's like, bruh. We can do it, But if he comes up a little bit more seriously, and, like, starts, like, no. I start saying him, no, not seriously, like, <laughs> hey, right, I actually know what I'm talking about. So the funny thing is, um, so Brad is, like, yeah, we. I told you earlier, it was like based off that dra- joke of like drows are Australian. Yeah, yeah. This needs to be D and D canon. When I was like trying to name him, I was like, what's the most like, what's the most Australian dude guy name? And Nelio has played a warlock, yeah. who's like just and was an Australian, just like a chill surfer bro dude oh, okay. called Brad. And I was Brad. like, that will be like very, yeah, awesome. very different because like warlock and stuff. But it was like a fun little like mm-hmm. tribute to him. Yeah, thank you. I did notice that. Yeah. I thought you were going to Steve Irwin. No, but a little bit. I think I will like delve into that a little bit more of like the way Steve Irwin reacts to animals would be sort of how he reacts to like magic. Yeah. Um, so and, you can see that carpet. Oh, the beautiful the shield. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, that it's like really intense. Yeah, he's. I mean, it's like, how do I do Steve Irwin without going into David Attenborough? Like, can you see this magical, like, yeah. <laughs> spell in its natural environment? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just got the energy of Steve. Or well, even cross about numbers or something. Like. Yeah, that's not a noise. Yeah. That's, not, that's like, not a shield. This is a shield. Oh, that's <laughs> really good. I'll put that down if I'm not. I've got like inspirations and accents so I can try and be consistent. Mm. Um, but then you met a very fun. Uh, you've met Koala, who is an old character of mine, but Nyx Moon Reaper is also an old character of mine, who I think Zombie will get along with very well, but she's very fun. 
Sunny has along with everyone. Zabi does get along with everyone. Zabi is no the, filter. Is Doesn't know the direct opposite to Lucia. Zabi <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know how to be embarrassed. Yeah. That's a like, wouldn't you love that though? Mm. Yeah, I'm living vicariously through Zabi. <laughs> yeah. Uh that's dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, like everyone Zabi be friends with Lucia probably won't be. Yeah. Uh, everyone Zabi hates and probably Lucia's friends. <laughs> but in terms of getting like alliances, it's like a very strategic way to do it. You're getting two sides of Yeah. Powerful calculated people. And uh, <laughs> the people who want to be weird. Look, here. it's like every half of half needs to be friends with a Slytherin. Yeah. Like it's it's a great vibe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, that's probably a year excellent spot to join us thank you everyone for joining us for chromatic conversations we will be streaming episode three this sunday at 6 p.m australian time yes bye, bye. <laughs>